Hi, my name is Michael. I'm one of the appraising directors here at CashInMyBag.com. Here's another little video, how to authenticate Chanel. Chanel is a very luxurious brand, and again, just like every other designer, these bags are also made with perfection. Um, let, we always look at about four keynotes as well with the Chanel bag. We always look at the actual hardware, the stitching on the bag, the heat stamp on the inside of the bag, and the hologram sticker which is also on the inside of the bag. So let's look at the symmetry of the bag. You can see the squares and the triangles that when the bag is closed it actually blends in perfectly and makes it look like it just flows into the rest of the bag as the bag is closed. Um, this is one key feature to always look for in authentic Chanel. So let's talk about the, the Chanel signature hardware. It's two interlocking C's. The right C always overlaps the left C. Now you actually have to look at the thickness of the metal of the C's as well. A lot of people tend to ask us, what does that marking mean in the hardware? Well, if you have a marking in here, that means that this bag was actually manufactured in France. If it does not have the little marking on the C, then it means it was made in Italy. Okay, so now let's open the bag up and look on the inside. Because of the actual heat stamp that says Chanel, because the bag was made in France, it's on the opposite side of the actual interior of the bag. So it says Chanel, on the other side it says made in France. Now let's look at the stitching on the interlocking C's. The stitching is actually perfect. And with Chanel, they like to have a high stitch count because it makes the bag more durable. So you have to look very carefully at the stitching everywhere in the bag, but a dead giveaway is always in the C's. Let's also talk about the hardware for Chanel. If it says Chanel here on the left, it's always going to say Paris on the opposite side. Now you actually have to look at the screws because Chanel bags are not made with Phillips head screws. So you have to be careful and to look and notice the actual hardware of the bag. Now, if we go to the interior of the bag, you have to find it, but the hologram is way down in the, in the bottom of the bag. And depending upon what series it is, you can see the manufacture date of the bag. Now if you go to our website, which is cashinmybag.com, there's a list of the actual uh, hologram codes and the, and the manufacturing dates as well. So that'll help you because some of the font in the actual, in the actual hologram is very specific. So there are replica bags out there with hologram codes in them, so you really have to know what you're looking at. Okay, so now let's look at this replica bag that I have here now. And when you feel the bag, you can actually feel how cheap it feels. This is calf skin, which is baby lamb. And this one here is just some kind of leather. I don't even know what it is, but the, the, it just feels very cheap. Now, if you look at the C's here, they are very thick. And if you also look at the stitching, it has a very low stitch count, not a very high stitch count. This one only has about five stitches compared to this one that has about 10. So let's talk about the hardware. Whether it's gold or silver, the hardware should never fade. Sometimes with the older vintage bags, you do start seeing a little bit of it fading, but not, not much. So on this bag in particular, when you see spots fading, that's a, that's a quick giveaway that it's a replica handbag. So now let's open the bag. And let's look at the stitching along here on the C's. Now you can see that the right C goes over the left C, but you can see that the stitch count is very low, just like on the front of the bag, and it just looks cheap. In addition to that, let's look at the hardware. Now remember, the Chanel was supposed to be on the opposite side, and Paris is supposed to be on the other side. But if we look at the hardware, this hardware is Phillips head screws. And this bag is not made with Phillips head screws, it's made with flat head screws. Okay, so now let's talk about the Chanel heat stamp, which is inside the bag. The font on this heat stamp is wrong. The made in France is just the wrong size in addition to that. Now this replica bag also has a hologram inside. 
However, the hologram, nothing is symmetric about it. It should be centered in the center of the tab and it, it has the wrong font actually. If you go to cashinmybag.com, you can actually see examples of what the hologram should look like and this hologram does not look like that. Again, my name is Michael. I'm one of the appraising directors here at cashinmybag.com. I hope you find this video helpful for you. Thank you so much and have a lovely day.